There is identity as we think of it in the kind of normal physical world as we're used to it. So identity documents like passports, driving licenses, identity cards. And sometimes you need to use them to prove who you are or to gain access to certain services. But the other aspect of digital identity is a kind of newer, less well-defined idea. When you are interacting with other people or communities online or in the virtual universe, then your identity isn't necessarily tied to your physical appearance or uh, where you live um, or how old you are, for example. Zero knowledge technology would provide a way of proving certain things without exposing massive amounts or your entire identity. Data is always going to be important. What, what changes though is how it gets used, how people can control what of their data is, um, is getting used. And that's where, you, you know, providing something like a zero knowledge proof layer that the MENA protocol can provide is just an incontestable proof that something is true and then it can be independently verified. So you can imagine a little QR code playing there that people can then boot up their MENA application on their phone, scan that UR code and know that, hey, that, that's not a deep fake. That's the real deal that I'm watching or listening to.